Oh yeah, by the way, welcome back to another video here in the off-grid garage. Yeah, this morning this was a bit of an act to find the right mounting tool for my enclosure here to get this on the wall. And I had this offcut here of a um, fence post actually. That's a 50 by 50 millimeter uh, galvanized steel fence post. And I said, well, this would be amazing. The enclosure comes with these brackets here. So this one pokes through the enclosure on the inside and this one sticks out like this. Well, in the first hardware store, they had exactly the 50 by 50 uh, fence post material there, but they're only selling this in an eight meter length. They are able to cut it in length to your needs, but I mean, eight meters is a bit, they don't want to build another garage, you know? <laughs> so. <laughs> And I needed only 1170 millimeters. But they advised me in the next town there was another hardware store where they'd sell these posts um, yeah, well, per meter. So I went there. Really, he was right. They sold me these exact 2.3 meters of length, cut this all as I wanted it. And well, what can I say? Here we go. It's not bolted in yet. I just measured the right distance and everything. But this is how it looks like. So we've got um, two metal brackets down here. So I just bolted it down onto this beam. And we've got a, another a big bracket here, an angle bracket, 90 degree angle bracket here, which I will screw into this beam and respectively on the other side. This is all M10, you know. <laughs> I can mount my Tesla on this wall with an M10 screw. So I'm getting all these holes and everything ready to go and then I will bolt everything into this position there and probably turn on the camera again once I will lift up this cabinet myself. Well, I've got my safety shoes on, so what should happen, you know? Okay, let me just drill some more holes here and tap some M10 threads into these support beams and then we are ready to mount this all and hopefully it will stay there. And the 8 meter length of this 50 by 50 steel would have cost me $51 Australian, so that's not too bad. And they would have cut it everything as well. But now I've paid only $18.23 or something, including cutting it to exact the length I need it for. <laughs> well, here you can see it again. This is the 50 by 50 fence post. It is fairly heavy. This is probably three kilos. It's a bit over a meter. Very sturdy. <laughs> I think this is enough. <laughs> to make the decision which height which height I mount the cabinet this is, this is one of these decisions you know you actually only know afterwards if this was good or bad well I put it right in the middle because I need access from below and also need access from the top for my solar input so I probably will drill these holes before I mount the the enclosure and have this all ready to go. Eight. M10. Here's M10. This is my M10 tab. I've never used this one here. M10 1.5. <laughs> That's a rocket. Jeez. It's so big. I, um, I will use some WD-40 here for the tab to make it easier a little bit. Well, at this size, it's all about lubrication. Leave your comments down below. <laughs> all right, wish me luck. Ah, easy. No problem at all. There we go. M10 tab. I, I, I will cut this out. This is totally unspectacular. I thought it was really difficult to get this in, but it's only 1.6 millimeter steel. So it goes in like butter. Forget about it. 
Well, I'm not sure if this uh, step drill is for metal or just for wood. We probably find out in a minute. No, the battery is empty. Ah. <laughs> well, it seems to have survived. So it's actually suitable for steel. I wasn't sure. Anyway, moving forward here, we've got these two holes now. And I can put these glands in here. These are for to connect these um, corrugated conduit here. Yeah, this, this snaps in here. I don't want to do it right now because um, yeah, it's very hard to release again. So, all right. So this will be our solar input. This is east roof over there. And this is, well, west roof, but there's nothing installed at the moment. So this is future. But at least I've got them in here. It's easier to drill these holes now. Yeah, I thought this is a better idea to use these glands here and then these um, corrugated conduit to feed the solar cables in. I, I don't like it if cables just hanging around from the ceiling or from wherever. And I like to have all the cables in conduit or duct or something, you know. I Well, it's, it's different for test purposes, you know. You've got cables everywhere. But for, for permanent installations, this all needs to be cleaned. And that's why the decision to buy one of these enclosures as well here, not having just a plywood situation up there, a plywood installation. I said, well, it would be the easiest way if we just have some plywood over there and then I mount the solar charge controllers and the inverter and have the cables somewhere connected there. And But it looks kind of messy, I, th I think. So... I think this is the better solution. It's cleaner. It costs a few bucks, sure, but it's cleaner. It's locked. It's, you know, it's it's dust proof. It's waterproof. Everything well done here with um, this opening here. And I need to uh, think about putting clans in here as well. Um, not sure how many and what size I need, but I need to figure this out. Positive, negative for the battery. And then we've got the um, the 230 volt cables going in and out. Uh, there's quite some stuff going in and out here, actually. So I need to. Um... Yeah, I don't know yet. I have no idea. This is this is all future stuff. Not not tonight. Okay, so I have now bolted in our support here, but this is all still loose. I haven't tightened these screws yet, so I can move it a little bit around to make this all fit here. See, this is still loose and well, I guess this is the big moment now. That's when the magic happens. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can mount this one on these two support beams. All right, just making sure this all fits together. Okay, uh, let's get the beast. <laughs> that is heavy. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put it on. All right, so far. So far, so good. <laughs> it is so heavy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh. Can someone please come over and give me a hand here? <laughs> okay, I need to get one screw in at the top. One screw is enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I've got one in, I think it's a win. It's so heavy, it doesn't fit. Jeez, it doesn't fit. I need to go further apart. Mechanical engineering. How are we looking here? Come on, you bastard! Yeah, <laughs> it's in. You never know if you do all the measurement on the floor and then put it on the wall. There's always this half millimeter, millimeter. But that's why you don't tighten the screws beforehand. You just give yourself a little bit of play, and it's all good. Don't want to tighten them too much. It's an M10. It's a big ratchet. 
All right, that's it. Okay, I'll tighten the um, screws at the top and then we are done. Uh, one week ago, no fucking idea how to mount this one on the on the wall here. And now it's, huh, look at this. Nice, I'm glad it's on. That is amazing, that is good. That is great, what do you think guys, huh? Ooh, and then we can have our display in here showing all the information later on. <laughs> Let's find the future, really, but I would like to have a display in here. I don't want to don't want to take out my phone all the time and use the Bluetooth connection or something. A nice display here would be nice. Well, I'll start thinking about it. That looks amazing, right? All right, guys, I think that's all for today. This took me, it took me the whole afternoon, about five. Yeah, it was five hours of my time preparing these um, these fence posts here uh, getting all these brackets sorted drilling all these holes and tapping and and put this all in place here this was five hours but i spent only 18 dollars and 23 cents <laughs> on the steel posts <laughs> okay guys that's all i have for you tonight as always thank you very much for watching for your support here on the channel and i guess we shall see us again in the next video tomorrow morning. There's our next video. All right, see you then. Bye bye.